Hey guys, it's Rob Flax here. I am super excited to be sharing with you a whole bunch of stuff making a video right now at the Bates Dance Festival. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, it's a box. Let's see what's inside. Boom! GFI system. The Cab Zeus. In the box we have a manual. USB cable. Keep this shim at this position when transporting the pedal with the box. Two year warranty and instructions to download Cabs Lab. So this is the newest acquisition and in theory this video is going to be a demo of how to use it. Just a quick look. Nice smooth turning knobs. Nice inputs. A couple of Sturdy feeling toggle selectors. If you look on the back, we've got all kinds of ins and outs. And uh, there's even a volume slider for a headphone in and out. This could be, this really could be the thing that I need. Look at that. On the back, there's XLR outs. So there's mono input, left and right, quarter inch. XLR outs in the back, plus additional throughs. Let's take a look at how my stuff is set up and what's going on here. This takes all the instruments that I have that I'm gonna play in a solo performance or whenever and routes them to this looper. This is the boomerang. All of the stuff potentially could go through one of the aux sends of the mixer. Aux one right now has all these channels getting sent out to aux one, which is all these guitar effects pedals, just in series, plugged one into another, and then comes back into the mixer as channel four. That's the return. All of the output of this is stereo, one and left and right out, and those go into the boomerang. Boomerang phrase sampler. This is the brains of the operation. This looper I've been using for forever. So all of this stuff has been my basic rig for a while now. This stuff is what I use when I'm touring. What we're gonna do in this video is compare the sounds of my violin, a guitar, going into this pedal board, and then see what's the difference between the direct sound recorded straight into the uh, computer versus the sound coming out of the amplifier recorded straight into the computer from there. And for some of these pedals, you're gonna hear a pretty dramatic difference between the sound coming out of an amp and the sound going straight into the board. This is my current go-to amplifier. This is a Premier B160 club bass amp made in 1964. This is supposed to replace this in my touring setup. Ultimately, I would like to see what is the difference between direct signal and amp signal. So I've got a nice SM58 on the amp and I'll record that and see how they compare. Then I'm gonna plug in the Cab Zeus and use that instead of the Premiere. Let's play some sounds and see what comes out. Here's the sound of the violin through the amp. normally it sounds really lovely as you can hear when I start to strum it the tubes in the amp compress in a very different way from the way it sounds normally the sound of the acoustic violin is enhanced for pizzicato I think in my opinion by the amplifier the sound going into the board is also really nice at the moment. There's not a lot of gain hitting it. It just sounds like the pickup.
now let's hear that. That was the amp you just heard. Now let's hear that, what it sounds like into the preamps. As you can hear, those preamps do not take kindly to overdrive. This box of rock just wrecks my pre's. It just doesn't sound good. Overdrive sounds bad direct. It sounds good into tube amps. Having covered that, let's swap out this JDI for my brand new Cab Zeus, which I have never used before. I've got the Cab Zeus now instead of the JDI. This is one possible way that this could become a part of my signal chain. Right now, I don't have it plugged into an adapter. This is purely passive. Nothing going on in terms of programming or processing. I just want to see how does this function as a DI box. I have the exact same loop saved in my looper from before. So let's see what that sounds like through the amp and direct. First, the amp sound. As far as I can tell, it sounds very similar. I don't really see a major difference between the Cab Zeus and the DI that I was using before. It sounds pretty good. On this particular preset, I'm not hearing a huge difference in what that knob's doing. Preset number three. That sounds really nice. Frankly, I'm very impressed. I like that setting a lot. And let's just compare the sound of the violin regular. Not bad. Let's go back to that same setting. Let's compare that to the actual amp again. probably my favorite. Frankly, I'm always going to prefer the real thing to the simulation, but I'll be darned if that's not really good sounding and way more portable than a 1964 1x12, which is pretty portable as far as amps go, but it's, again, I, I fly on airplanes, you know what I mean? So, Cab Zeus, um, first impressions, very strong results. I like the way it sounds a lot. I think this solves all my problems for now. Anyway, this video is getting longer than it needs to be. My name is Rob Flax. If you liked what you saw here, please click the like button for this video. You can subscribe to my channel if you would like infrequent updates. I'm trying to be better, but I'm not trying that hard. I got things to do. <laughs> anyway, uh, the best way to follow me is probably either Instagram or Facebook or sign up for my monthly newsletter at robflax.com where I will be sending you exclusive content through my email list. So, And I don't spam because who wants spam? Anyway. Uh, get your seven hugs a day, and I'll see you next time. What if we fed up the sun? Join one of